Hi, it's Damien Carbon with your news briefing. No sign of the two leaders today with Anthony Albanese in isolation and the Prime Minister taking a step back for the day. While Labor again goes after the federal government's failings in the lead up to the China and Solomon Islands deal in the Pacific, Deputy Leader Richard Miles is on the campaign trail in Queensland saying the PM's inaction has left Australia at risk. We've got Scott Morrison standing here at home beating his chest while he leaves the field vacant in the Pacific. And we are now seeing the arrangement between Solomon Islands and China, which absolutely undermines our national security. While the US have now got involved, the Biden administration warning the Pacific Island nation the US will take unspecified action should the new pact with China threaten it or its allies. Former Prime Minister John Howard has hit the campaign trail today, unleashing criticism on a number of former Liberals who are now running as independents. He's described them as groupies trying to ruin the Liberal Party. Josh Frydenberg telling Seven people need to be wary of exactly what independents are promising. There's no detail whatsoever behind their policies, no costings, no funding of how they'll fund it and how they'll deliver it. They're not telling their communities how they will vote on the other side of the election. Overseas, the French will head to the polls this weekend to pick a president for the next five years. Opinion polls are showing centrist Emmanuel Macron should beat right-wing conservative Marine Le Pen for another five-year term. With Money Me, you get low interest rates and approvals in minutes. Download the Money Me app today. Approved applicants only. T's and C's apply. Not much entertainment out of this afternoon's clash between the Crows and the Dogs. A short time ago, Adelaide led at three-quarter time by three points, despite only kicking five goals so far. Next up, it's Port hosting the Eagles, and then tonight, the Two young up-and-coming sides in the AFL with Fremantle hosting Carlton. Meantime, Essendon looks set to be boosted by the return of Jake Stringer for Monday's big Anzac Day clash with Collingwood at the MCG. And in the National Basketball League, a must-win game for Tasmania this hour as they postpone the Selling the family home, Miller, Warren and John put you first. Mostly fire with some light winds dropping down to 7 degrees tonight for the limestone coast. Mostly sunny, 23 the top tomorrow, partly cloudy, 23 for Monday as well. And the listener app is the new home of your local news. Join now to listen live or on demand.